is happening. My favorite anime is getting a remake. Thank you, Netflix. Sensei Knights of the Zodiac is getting a Netflix remake. I mean, I even have the Sagittarius Cloak box right here. So, as you can tell, my I'm a very big fan. So, I've been wanting this for a long time. Some of you may not understand what I'm talking about. So, I'm going to explain it to you. Senseiya Knights of the Zodiac is an anime adaptation of the manga with the same name. The anime was broadcasted on October 11 of 1986 for the first time. The story is about five warriors which are representing a constellation and fight with the cosmos within them to protect the goddess Athena. The five warriors are Iki from Phoenix, Hyoga from Cygnus, Sean from Andromeda, Shiryu from Dragon and of course Seiya for Pegasus. They fight many powerful foes like Hades and Poseidon, but today I'm going to explain a little bit of the Sanctuary Saga. Athena has been stabbed by a gold arrow, so now Seiya and his friends need to travel to the Sanctuary to save her. But there is one huge problem, the gold saints, which represent the 12 zodiac constellations, Mu of Aries, Aldebaran of Taurus, Saga and Canon of Gemini, Deadmas of Cancer, Aeolia of Leo, Shaka of Virgo, Libra was not present because he is Sirius master, Milo of Scorpio, Aeolus of Sagittarius was dead, Shura of Capricorn, Camus of Aquarius and Aphrodite of Pisces are considered to be the strongest and most powerful Latina warriors applied a battle. The death of Aeolus was due to the Pope who tried to kill baby Athena and Aeolus protected her until he died. Seiya and his friends didn't knew that so they thought the Pope could save Athena. They battled temple after temple after temple showing us how strong they are. When they reach the very end well, you will need to find that by yourself. There is a movie on Netflix which resembles the anime a little bit but the ending is different, it skips a lot of things and also changes a lot of things. But you should check it out. It's called Saint Seiya Legend of the Sanctuary. Anyway. The new Netflix anime is going to be from the Galaxian Wars arc all the way to the Silver Saints arc. That means it will be from the very beginning, from Seiya getting his clothes to Iki being bad, the Black Saints, the introduction of the Steel Saints, all that good stuff. Which means we are still not going to see the Temple Wars. So, we hope that season 1 is a success and that season 2 comes out and then 3 and 4 and 5 and so on. I'm really hyped for this. We still don't have a release date or trailer or anything, but we do know that it's going to have only 12 episodes. I really hope they are 40 to 50 minutes episode because 20 is not enough to tell this epic story well guys that's all for today thanks so much for watching and please tell me in the comments down below if you are excited for this new series and if you watch it when you were younger don't forget to leave a like and subscribe until next time